So GenoPal, it's interesting to me because they're taking the guesswork out of which carbohydrates and protein sources that our clients need to burn fat and build muscle most efficiently. It's nice because we don't have to test, you know, rice or sweet potatoes or quinoa. We're gonna be able to, you know, take the test and know what's gonna work best. So it's gonna help us get better results in a shorter amount of time and eliminate guesswork. Geno Palette is important to me because as a nurse working in healthcare, I take care of sick people all the time and it really makes you value your health that much more. I'm excited and curious to try Geno Palette to see what my results are and to really use those results to get into better shape, to lean out, and to live a healthier lifestyle. I have a lot of clients, I have one right now, who went from um, her American diet, fast food, energy drinks, not enough hydration, um, to boom training with me, to boom jumping on the keto diet. She doesn't know why she jumped on the keto diet, but she did because she hears everyone else talking highly about it, reading articles, kind of like a fad. And uh, the thing is, is I honestly don't think her body wants the keto diet uh, because she's actually in injury right now, headaches, not feeling well. That's why I use GenoPal and why she's now switching over and getting um, her results processed through GenoPal so we don't have to guess anymore. And then we can see if the keto diet's even right for her and if not, then we can dial it in on what is right for her instead of the guessing game, wasting time, injuries, and many other things. Genopel is important for me because it took the guessing out of things. When I started off, I was eating chicken all the time and putting those things into my diet because I was just guessing. You know, I needed to get X amount of macros in, but we want to get a little bit more detail on those things. And so you can get through those plateaus, I wanted to look at my genetics. So when I took the study, I started to realize that I should have been eating more red meats. And that's something I never would have been able to discover unless I looked at my genetic profile and see where some of those deficiencies are. So that's how I'm integrating it into my story. And I'm going to see how those transformations come into play over the next couple of weeks.